It shows that people like Finn Jewell were not afraid to be a pioneer. They were not afraid to lead the industry. And that also Baker Furniture was not afraid to make the choices they need to make in order to ensure that they would be at the forefront of American design and in particularly the Scandinavian design with the American public. It really is a great story about the synergy between a Danish designer and an American company. Hi, this is Anita, the Global Trade Gal. As I mentioned, this month we're going to be talking about a lot of things that have to do with Scandinavian design, and particularly Scandinavian design and America. I mentioned in a previous podcast that I went to visit a exhibition at the Milwaukee Art Museum called Scandinavian Design and the United States from 1890 to 1980. And this is really an interesting exhibition because this exhibition was in um, Scandinavia, in several museums. It was in Los Angeles, then it was in Milwaukee. And it was really an interesting exhibition. I learned quite a bit about Scandinavian design and the United States. And one of the stories that I really loved, so one of the stories that I really loved was the story about Finn Jewell, who was a Danish designer and baker furniture. Anyone who's in the furniture industry like I am, of course, knows the name of Baker Furniture. Baker Furniture is one of the top furniture brands even today. But the story goes back to, in fact, 1948, when Finn Jewell was an interior magazine. And it was Hollis Baker, who was the president of Baker Furniture at that time, who saw this article about Finn Jewell and his work and some of his Danish chairs that he had designed. He actually went over to Denmark, the story goes, and he went over to Denmark and talked to Finn Jewell and said, we would like you to design some chairs for us for the American market, and um, we'd like to produce them. And, and, you know, it also says that Finn, Finn was a little bit apprehensive because he thought, I don't know if America can do the kind of quality that we can do in Denmark, so he wasn't quite sure. So he made a trip to the United States. At the time, Baker was located in Michigan and went up and saw the facilities and thought, okay, well, maybe they can be able to produce the quality of the chairs that I need. And so then he started producing some um, chairs. In the 1950s, Baker Furniture, you know, approached him. So in, in the early 1950s, these chairs were being, you know, produced in the United States. And it also meant that Finn Jewell, as a designer, started designing things in the United States. He you know, started um, designing the uh, trusteeship uh, council chambers, um, the headquarters of the United Nations in New York City. He was awarded a gold medal you know, for some design work in Milan. And he started doing some product design and other types of industries and glassware, ceramics, and other things. In 1965, he was a visiting professor at the Institute of Design in Chicago. So here it goes from 1948 to a designer, Danish designer that was relatively unknown, except maybe, you know, in in Denmark a bit, who happened, somebody saw his work, put him in the interior design magazine. Hollis Baker, the president of Baker Furniture, um, saw his work, loved his work, asked him to design some collections of furniture. And he is known as the Danish designer who really started bringing in Scandinavian design, in particular Scandinavian design with some chairs into the United States in a mass-produced way. Had a great influence on the American market. His partnership with Baker Furniture, which started in 1951, represented the first significant introduction of modern Danish furniture to the American market. So you think about that, it was way back in 1951. And this collaboration allowed Jules' innovative designs to reach a broader audience. And on top of it, it started shaping the American furniture design landscape for years to come. In fact, anyone who's in the furniture industry will know that Even today, you can go and you can see some type of version of many of the chairs that he designed for Baker Furniture, where people are still producing them today. You know, his clean designs, the way that the chairs are done, are still a foundation where many chairs are being sold and still made in the United States or for the United States market 
as from his collection from 1951. That is the power of his design. But to make this happen, not only did Finn Jewell need to be a great designer, but Baker Furniture also, you know, especially Holis Baker, had to have this vision of where he wanted his company to go. It was in 1957 that Baker Furniture then acquired the Grand Rapids Chair Company. And so, you know, this allowed them to be able to produce some of these chairs. They began to produce it under the Milling Road label. So the move signaled, you know, Baker Furniture's commitment to catering to diverse consumer needs and preferences. And it began really to reinforce his position as an American furniture design leader. What I find so fascinating about this is that even today, Baker Furniture is a great design leader in the furniture industry. So here's a company that has had so many years experience who has still been able to remain as a design leader and as a relevant brand from you know the 1950s onward until today. That is a very difficult thing to do because trends change. Um, you know, they have competition coming from all over the world, but yet they've been able to maintain their brand and to remain a brand which is not only important, but a significant brand in the entire furniture and design industry. What's also interesting is that Finn Jewell, he really was in many ways a design maverick. You know, he was not just a furniture designer, but he was also a trendsetter. He was an innovator. You know, he was someone who left this indelible mark upon the design world. And that is also a very, very difficult thing to do because he was not afraid to maybe, you know, go outside what would have been the norm at the time. He was not afraid to do any of those things. He was not afraid to leave his mark upon the world. His contributions to Scandinavian design and, you know, to became a forefront for the American market was in parallel. You know, his creations even today, like I've mentioned before, are still celebrated and cherished. They also show, too, that how this world is really such a small place in many ways. You know, and it, it's been this way since the, uh, you know, forever, actually. But we even see, like, way back in the 1950s, we have the Scandinavian influence that came into the American market with a designer like Finn Jewell, who influenced a whole generation of designers, um, American designers. And then we, we basically have Baker Furniture, that's an American brand, who saw the need and they saw that they that this could become something that the American people would like and they understood that. And so they invested in that. This again, I find is a great story that it, it really shows this successful marriage of Scandinavian design principles and the American industrial capabilities. It shows that, you know, there was a, a, a Scandinavian designer and an American company, and they were able to work together, and they were able to build this fantastic brand and to be able to um, build and create these fantastic um, chairs, furniture, and other things, which are still relevant today. It shows that people like Finn Jewell were not afraid to be a pioneer. They were not afraid to lead the industry. And that also Baker Furniture was not afraid to make the choices they need to make in order to ensure that they would be at the forefront of American design and in particularly the Scandinavian design with the American public. It really is a great story about the synergy between a Danish designer and an American company. This is Anita from the Global Trade Gal. We've written a blog on this, which is called The Influence of Finn Jewel and Baker Furniture Danish Design. So if you'd like to be able to read more about this, and I have some of the pictures which I took from when I attended the show, be able to see some of those and read more about this and read more about this great collaboration that happened between the, this great company of Baker Furniture and Finn Jewel and their great collaboration they had together. We'd like to thank you so much, our listeners, for listening, and we'd like to thank those who helped put it together, especially Rico, who helps make this podcast possible by doing all the technical stuff, which I really don't have the ability to do, or the time at the moment. So thank you, and thank you, our listeners. Mm-hmm.